to Pallab here and Infocus India today launched a brand new phone. It's called the Infocus Vision 3. That's the phone right in front of you. The USP of this device is that it has a full view display. You can see there. Apart from that, it also has a big battery, 4000 mAh battery plus dual camera setup and all those stuffs. Now, I do not know the price yet of this device because obviously I've made this review or made this uh, video rather before the launch, but I'm assuming the price would be between seven to 8,000 Indian rupees, which is just over uh, $120 roundabout so in this particular video we're gonna do an unboxing of this device we'll see what's inside this box and we'll have a first look at this device as well so let's get started yeah yeah so that's the vision tree it's a very compact box and you can see some of the quick specs over here. I'll just bring it a little closer so you see 18 by 9 uh, aspect ratio full display or full vision display that I told you before which is of 5.7 inch HD plus it's an on sale display 82.4 percent of so, uh, screen to body ratio and then 13 MP plus 5 MP dual rear camera 8 MP front camera you also have 5,000 or uh, 4,000 mh battery dual sim of course and price has been removed so that we cannot tell that to you before the launch so i'm gonna go ahead and open this sticker and then open the phone and there you go so on top we have this one we have the phone there we'll come back to the phone in just a bit once we go further inside, we have the quick start guide right there. We have the warranty card and then we have the SIM ejector tool there. You can see a wall charger. It's a round pin wall charger and this is of 1500 milliampere output. So 1.5 ampere output. You also get a micro USB cable. So no earphones in this box. So let's uh, get rid of this plastic flower first and then also have this one can take that off too we have some more plastic on the back side here and there we go so that's we have the black model it looks quite nice very manageable but this looks plastic actually so yeah, that's the full view display, uh, HD plus resolution of the 8 MP front camera right there. You can see the earpiece, there won't be any home screen because of the full display. You have the metal uh, volume rocker. It has serrated its texture so that you do not, it, your, your, your fingers do not slip out there. Also textures is the home button and then your dual SIM card slot. So let's check out whether it has a dedicated micro SD card slot or is it a dual hybrid SIM card arrangement. So it is a dual hybrid SIM card arrangement. You can see there if my camera decides to focus. So yeah, you can have one nano SIM, two nano SIM or one nano SIM and one micro SD card slot. On the back side you have the 13MP plus 5MP dual camera setup accompanied by an LED flash, your fingerprint and the speaker grill route right there and 3.5mm jack. Below you have your micro USB port plus the mouthpiece and that's about the phone really. It's nothing great looking but then it's quite radio friendly and it's nice to hold but it will attract a lot of fingerprint this front at least. So there you go that's the display you see that's how the notification panel looks like does anything come from bottom no this is recent home button long press would probably bring in okay google or google now not google assistant rather and that's one so how is the viewing angle decent not bad i would say for the price point but let's take a look at some of the settings quickly and there you go about phone four cores 2 gb 16 gb 2 gb ram 16 gb storage and there you go android 7.0 there what else do we have some of the other settings there and then backup you can go here storage so available is 9.2 gb you can see there out of 16 gb yeah. To check out the memory actually you'll have to go here 
so use this 0.95 GB 2 GB in total you can always clear that it'll clear it has cleared about 67 MB of memory because we don't have anything running in the background and there's another nice settings here categorized as special settings here you can see app twins where you can install uh, you know two apps let's say whatsapp or facebook whatever it supports uh, some sensory motion screen recording and create private space so that two or three users can use this phone at the same time so that's about the setting some of the apps so you get the typical google android apps you have some in-house tools out there and then some third party tools like you see news and whatnot can you go ahead and uninstall this yes you can go ahead and uninstall these apps if you want amazon amazon prime so yeah there so not many bloatware other but you have uc browser as well let's quickly check out the camera now i'm gonna allow some permissions so that's the ui there so photo video you have time lapse you have beauty mode you have panorama you also have a pro mode right here where you can customize many settings there and then when we go to photo you have all the options available here they are only available in certain modes for example in pro mode you won't get this some of the settings you see are deactivated when I go to photo, they are all activated. This should be the live, or oh, this is the bokeh level. So this kind of give you, because the dual camera, it gives you that, uh, you know, background blur kind of a photo. And this is normal and wide photo option. This is your aspect ratio. This is your flash. And then some of the other settings here as well. So that's the front camera. And it's rather slow you see rather jittery so you have beauty mode you have pro mode here as well on the front camera which is a nice touch and but some of these things are deactivated they'll be probably activated here only does not have the wide mode maybe because it does not have the dual uh, lens here but you still have the blur or background blur or the bokeh mode so yeah that was guys a very quick look at the brand new uh, in focus vision 3 we'll come back with the full review of this phone till then stay tuned